Shelton Lewis, cornerback, 5'11", 180 pounds, Stockbridge, Georgia, from Stockbridge High School. Um, Three-star overall guy right now, has a crystal ball to North Carolina, 25 total offers, is listed as a warmer interest in the Tar Heels and the Clemson Tigers, has done official visits on record to uh, the Tar Heels, UNC there, and Arkansas, and Pittsburgh. Now, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, fellas, he was originally committed to Pittsburgh, and so he has now opened his uh, recruiting back up and uh, going to be uh, potentially looking at where he can go, and Clemson has now taken an interest in him. So let's go ahead and, and start his highlight film here from Huddle.com. Now, Al, we'll start with you. What are, what are some things? The first thing I see is he's got a mixture of some quarterback film in there as well. So yeah. what do you think about somebody who's a who's a cornerback and a – I don't even know if I can say it. A quarterback and a cornerback. Is that um, the versatility you're looking for in an athlete that has to play the outside? I, I always love it when they play quarterback because it usually means they have pretty good hands. Uh, so I, I will tell you this, and I can't remember – I, I watched so much film today. I can't remember what what I ended up seeing, but I will tell you this: the the first set of film that I saw for him, which was sophomore season, I got to tell you, I was sitting there like, eh. I mean, he's all right. Uh, you know, he he's solid take, but nothing nothing special is what it appeared to me. But I got to tell you, the difference that the next film that I saw, I, I don't know if this is it or not, but I saw some other film uh, that somebody had posted in a forum. I'm like, now this is more like it. This is what this is what Reed saw. Uh, you know, or whoever saw on the, the recruiting staff when they offered this kid, this is this is what we want to see. Uh, you know, his toughness stood out on both sets of them, even in a sophomore film. That was the that was the main takeaway. Tough kid, really physical. Uh, but when I ch transitioned to the new film, not only was he tough and physical, loving to lay the wood, he loves to hit you, uh, you know, not shying away from contact, which, by the way, I think is really good for, you know, a Clemson defense who likes to play a lot of press man at times and leave you out on an island. I think that's a, a very a very good asset. But it looks like he has a real high football IQ. He puts himself in position to make plays, good break on the ball. Uh, I love the way he keeps his eyes on the QB. I like to mention that a lot. Flips his hips pretty well. You know, he's not – I don't think he's going to blow you away with his size or athleticism. Seems like a very solid player who Clemson would certainly get the most out of. You know, Coach Reed takes over. I think he'll be in good hands. Now, Al, I don't know. I don't think you were on the the week we did, like Caleb Downs, who's a five-star cornerback who recently right. committed to Alabama. Um, and, and I will say, wow, what a huge hit there. But I will say that a five-star guy, you know, the versatility – he has it because, he, like you said, he could play quarterback. He could play uh, a cornerback as well. He can play both sides of the ball. But when you look at a guy like, well, what makes a five-star cornerback? I mean, Caleb Downs, you see film of him literally doing freaking everything. I mean, right. he could almost play every position except for maybe an uh, offensive line. You know, he can do everything. And so when you just see what he brings to the table, the versatility is like to the max. Now, I would say – um, that Lewis also brings a high level of versatility. And uh, I also put down that I like his recovery. You know, even if he's a few yards off, he can sniff out what the quarterback wants to do. And he has awareness and recovery speed to kind of make up that gap, whether he was playing a, a, a pad or, you know, a kind of a soft coverage or whatever, whatever the call was on the defense, he adjusts very quickly and I like to see that. So it shows great instincts. It shows great um, hip movement there, good hip movement, and then recovery speed as well. Al, you mentioned toughness. I got yeah. my scouting report. This is from my this is from my my source, my scout source. Put down here when you're looking at a cornerback on their film, you're looking at is the guy versatile? Is the guy athletic? Is the sure. guy tough, fearless? Does he show recovery speed? Does he show flipping of hips? Mm -hmm. Does he show instincts? Does he show some run game? Now, I will say I don't necessarily see a ton of like run game support. Right. So that may hurt as far as his film goes. I do see a ton of man. I do see some I do see some zone there. I do see a good range and, and good feet foot uh, footwork as far as what you can tell. You know, it's a little blurry a little bit, but but Houston, we seem to like a lot about this guy. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think I think being able to see the versatility, you can see why they like him as a corner. He can do a lot of things on the outside. He can play quarterback. I'm going to be honest, the first thing that I see when he started running as a quarterback is this guy's fast. So, yeah, he's going to be able to keep up. 
Uh, he's got good hips. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, maybe this is somebody that you want to put in the punt return game or something like that. Take a little durability or somebody that's durable uh, to go and fill some punts because that guy has got some moves. Um, so you want to see if you can utilize him as much as possible. But I think as a, as a DB, he's he's always um, making the right play from what I can see. Um, he, like you said, he's got good recovery. Um, and I think overall, you know, it might take a little bit of time to develop, but I think he could be a solid guy. We've seen that plenty of times under Mike Reed yeah. um, where you may, may not see this guy as much in year one or even year two, but then three and four, he's an All-American. So that's something that could definitely happen. Yeah, I think that's the thing is like we're not out here giving him five stars or three stars or two stars, but we do see the difference between those. And like I said, there is a difference between the film that we, we have for, for Lewis and and the film that you have for, say, like a Caleb Downs. But is that necessarily a bad thing? Uh, I think it's a bad thing as far as opportunity. All it says is is that Shelton Lewis needs more opportunity. He needs to get his chance to get out there and show what he can do. And it seems like, as what we said, uh, you know, the the coaching staff that, that can develop and that can spot him wants him. So that is already God opening a door for an opportunity for Shelton Lewis to show what he can do. So, hey, sometimes the difference between a three-star and a five-star is just being able to show what you can do. And I think, you know, this provides something for, for Lewis to, to, to ponder about now that he's opened his recruitment back up. Let us know in the comments what you think. Will he go to Clemson? Will he go somewhere else? You know, he's done a couple of visits so far. Um, it'll be interesting to see how his recruitment goes. But again, it's definitely a guy who has a lot of potential and just needs the opportunity to show what he can do out there on the field. Um, a good overall versatile athlete who, who is definitely very tough.